Hello everyone and welcome back to The Doctor's Garage. So in this video today, I'm going to be telling you about the first part of one of the best security mods you can do to your Land Rover Defender to stop it getting stolen. I'm going to be talking about the steering wheel because one of the best ways to stop your Defender getting stolen if someone does get in your car is to have a steering lock on or better still, Optimal, do a swivel lock that literally goes over your steering column and stops them being able to get access to the car. To fit the swivel lock, you need to first fit an optimal quick release boss, which is this one right here. This is a 48 spline one, and this is the part that goes onto your steering column. You then have the quick release aspect that clicks onto the back of your steering wheel, and that allows you to take your steering wheel on and off, and it also allows you to clip the swivel lock straight onto this part when your steering wheel is not connected. Of all the people that produce Defender aftermarket equipment, Optimal makes such, such high quality gear. This is billet aluminium, it's machine engineered, and Optimal have a background working in the aerospace industry, so all their gear is so, so highly produced from a quality point of view, it clicks together like nothing else, and it's just unbelievable quality when you actually feel what their products feel like. Now let's talk about what are we going to need to do the job today? What are the equipment we're going to need, and what are the parts when they're all broken down? So I've got all the bits lined up here that I'm going to need to do the job today. I have gone for a 48 spline boss, so that's the little grooves on the inside of here. There is another one available, you've got to check what your car has, what the steering column has to get the right one. We've also got the screws, the indicator rods, I've got my new steering wheel. And to do the job today, all you need is a screwdriver with an allen head that fits the little screws that go in to hold the steering wheel onto that removable piece. And then you also need a socket, and it's a 22 mil socket you're going to need to take the nut out of your steering wheel and put it back on. For my car, I've gone for the Momo Prototipo steering wheel. I like this because it's kind of not too racery, like some Defender wheels were, certainly what my old one was, was like, uh, which was a mountainy one that I've had on from before I owned the car. It's quite nice because it's got this kind of distressed soft leather look, and also I just think it's a bit heritage, but a bit modern at the same time and kind of worked. So this is the current setup in my car. You want to make sure that when you do this job, your steering wheel is completely straight, so the wheels are straight before taking it off. To start with, you need to take the center cap off the steering wheel, which just should pop out, and you're left there with that nut, that 22 mil socket will work on. So let's just loosen that 22 mil nut there. So when you do that, you actually want to get it so it's just towards the end of the thread, and that's because when you pull the steering wheel off, you don't want it to fly off and hit you in the face. Now, the easiest way to do it, I've taken this one off before, but you basically just have to tap it and hit it there, and you can see that has come loose. So now what you can do is take that off completely, and now it's not going to fly off and hit me in the face when I do it. Put that to one side, and this should all just come off. And you can see there, this is what I've got at the moment. There are the little splines on the inside of there, and this is what I'm going to be replacing. And this is kind of what you're left with when you've taken it off. So you can see all the little grooves around there. The new boss is just going to slot straight onto. So you've got to remember, before you put your new ones on, you need to put the indicator cancelling pins in. So these come in the pack that you've got with the screws, and they hammer into those little holes there and so I've put that one in I'll be putting this one in now before you then fit it onto your car so to fit the quick release boss you want it in this position so you want two little pins at the bottom and one at the top the steering wheel is completely straight so you just slide it over your steering column of where it is currently and slowly work it in there give it a good firm push and you'll see that has now fitted onto the steering column perfectly get this nut put it back on here that together So next up, I've got my old steering wheel there. The new one now should just fit straight over this. I'm really pleased with how that looks. The new Momo Prototipo. So what we're gonna do is get that on there, put the screws in, and we've pretty much done it. And then you've got this quick release just there. Let's put them in. And then the last one, screwing that in. Perfect. So we now have our new steering wheel in my Defender. I'm so pleased with how that looks and you can take it straight off. So how do you fit your swivel lock? Well, you get into your car with the quick release boss on, take off your steering wheel. To fit the swivel lock now, you look at these three holes on here and match them up with the three holes on there. So what I like to do is to hold your finger just on the rim there to stop it rotating. And when you hold your finger there, you can literally just lay it over your quick release boss and what you'll see is it just drops in on like that. Click it, and you're completely secure now. It is rock solid. You cannot get that off without the key. So that is fixed on, and I think literally the best security solution you can have for a Defender to stop it getting stolen. 
Final step is to put the optimal center cap in. Just click it, hopefully. Perfect. So that is fully sorted now. I'm really pleased with how that looks. And I've got a new steering wheel on my Defender. So this old one now, and there's my new one. So yeah, really happy with that. Great mechanism to take the steering wheel off. So this is my first security mod I'm doing for my Defender, the first serious one. Really, really happy with my new Momo steering wheel. I think it's great and I love all the optimal stuff, the way it's made. I'm gonna do a whole series on this for my Defender. So upgrading your security in general. So make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. I've been in your world.